Hey guys, um, okay, so today's video is obviously <laughs> a little different or a lot different than what we usually post on this channel. And um, I kind of just wanted to sit down and be super like informal and just have a chat with you guys um, about everything. <laughs> it's a new year and a lot was going on uh, last year, uh, especially the second half of the year and, um, you know, leading into Christmas and New Year's and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to say right now that there's literally <laughs> probably hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube where you can look up um, all of the details surrounding the whole COPPA situation that uh, is as of now in effect in regarding like uh, YouTube videos and um, YouTube channels and stuff like that. So I don't really want to go into all that. I posted something on my Instagram stories. Did I do it before Christmas? No, I did it after Christmas or after New Year's. I can't remember, but I did do Instagram stories on um, Instagram <laughs> about, I just, what? what is happening right now because i had a lot of people reaching out and sort of just like you know asking me if we were okay and what sort of was going on in relation to all of that in our channel and all the things so um the reason why i'm doing this now like and it you know because a lot of people i was watching a lot of other people's channels and they were posting videos uh, you know, like prior even to Christmas. Talking about all the things, all the changes and how and if it was going to affect their channel and their content and like what they were gonna be doing moving forward. And the reason why I didn't do that, it, I, you know, I didn't mean to leave everybody hanging and sort of like keep you just like guessing and not knowing what was going on. But like I said on um, Instagram, I honestly, I had no clue. I, if I'm on, like, let's just like, let's just sort of jump ahead. I don't exactly have any more of a clue <laughs> than I did like a month ago, but I feel like I just kind of felt like I owed you guys some sort of check-in of some sort. So we're just gonna talk about all the things that come to mind. So assuming you know about COPPA and all of that, um, because we do, you know, we're a family vlogging channel along with many other family vloggers. We were very concerned and felt highly at risk for like being targeted in terms of the videos that we put out, uh, because they've made it very cut and dry, uh, in terms of like your kid, your videos are made for kids or not made for kids. <clears throat> and you basically have two choices if your if your videos are made for kids then you no longer have basically all of the youtube features that come along with having a channel and um up uploading videos uh comments any of the like um creator things are basically being removed and monetization that's sort of the big thing if your if your channels are not made for kids uh, you know, you get to keep all that, but there's a very fine line between what they consider to be made for kids and not made for kids. But anyway, I, I like I said, I don't really want to go into all that because it's not, I mean, it is about that, but it's not, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, but so we fall in the category, we fall right in the middle in that little gray area where we don't when I make, I, okay, I'm going to say me because I'm the one who vlogs, okay? Because I'm the one who literally like, you know, physically picks up the camera. So if I say I'm, it's our channel, you know, but if I say me, you know what I'm saying. Um, when I am like speaking to the camera, like I am now, in my mind, I'm not talking to an eight-year-old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I picture that I am speaking to another adult. I, if I want to get more specific, I picture that I'm most likely speaking to another female. Okay, <laughs> my battery died. 
like it always does. So if it looks a little, if I look a little different in the frame, I had to replace the battery and I had to set everything up again. Anyway, um, what I was saying was, oh yeah. So when I'm speaking to the camera, um, like I said, if I narrow it down, I mean, I know I have like a lot of people who watch my channel, but like in my mind, I'm speaking to like other moms, you know, not that like, if you're not, if you don't follow that category, it's okay. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, that is what I think about because I guess I'm just thinking like, that's, those are the things I'm talking about. You know, I'm talking about mom, wife, parenting, homeschooling, housekeeping, you know what I mean? Like all those types of subjects. And I'm not saying anybody couldn't be interested in that or watch it, but that is what I think about when I'm speaking to the camera. I never, even though I don't rule out that there could be like younger, you know, because I also know that a lot of times, you know, parents will, um, like a lot of channels, we'll have our videos on and they'll say like, I watch it with my daughter or, you know, my kids are in the room and they like to watch, you know, whatever. But I guess my point is that like, our content is not directed at kids. It's not like made for kids, if that makes sense. But it is family friendly. And I feel like I'm just saying what everyone else has said. So if you've watched other people talk about this on their channel, um, I'm getting messages from Mike. Okay. Um, I'm sure you've heard like a lot of the same, you know, points uh, where it's like, you can watch our videos with your kids because we're family friendly and, you know, it's like a safe place for, you know, your kids can be in the room and like we're not going to be like dropping any <laughs> F-bombs or anything like that, you know, but seriously. So um, there's that whole thing. We kind of just felt like, I don't want to say like personally attacked, but we just kind of felt like, you know, if you weren't like, if you weren't basically like swearing and talking about inappropriate things in your videos, or you weren't doing like blind bag openings or something like that, or making cartoons, that we kind of was just like, we were in limbo. We had no clue where we fell. But it seemed like they were categorizing us more along the lines of made for kids as opposed to the other way, if you feel me. The reason I'm saying all that is because like, we just didn't know like what to do. And you know, there were fines and, or there are fines involved. Um, if you mark your video inappropriately and they disagree with whatever you say, um, there's like high stakes, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not just about, oh, you know, you'll get a strike from YouTube. This is like, there are monetary fines. And like, again, like most people have said, like your average person cannot just be shelling out like $42,000, like a video as a fine. So on one hand, I have felt this whole time, you know, deep down, like I have just felt like, we have done nothing wrong and like if need be we could sort of defend ourselves if that makes sense like you know like i just i feel like there really is no question about um like who our videos are actually directed at um but i can see how you know it is uh it could be appealing to a wide audience do you see what i'm saying though it is just so <laughs> ah like yeah so we decided, uh, which most of you probably already know, we decided about um, the, well, right near the end of December, we decided to private all of our videos. I know some people kind of were picking and choosing um, which videos they were going to private. We just went through and privated everything because we have like 2000 videos <laughs> on YouTube. And honestly, I just, like there's no way I could sit and literally watch every single video to see and determine if there could be anything in the video, like even way back when, because this applies to any video you've uploaded and we've been on YouTube for a long time. So I can't even remember like what's in half my videos, you know? So <clears throat> we just wanted to play it safe and we didn't want to go into the new year having to like 
worry about anything that was up on our channel and like not really 100% sure what we left up and available so we just privated everything and that's sort of where like I didn't mean to like make it like so dry like I guess I just I don't want to because I know it's gonna sound silly I don't want to say that I didn't think anybody would notice but I I don't want you to think I did it like not caring and that like I just didn't say anything and it's like whatever it was just it's been a it's been stressful to say the least. And here's the thing I just wanna kinda of put out there. I know a lot of people talk about how it's an extra big deal to them because it's like their livelihood and you know, it really is like a huge deal. It would be like losing a job, you know? Um, that's not the case for us. You know, you guys know Mike works a full-time job and I stay home uh, with the kids. I'm a stay at home mom slash everything else but I was doing that way before I ever started YouTube and so we have always just built our life upon the fact that we have one steady income and we don't like rely you know do I make money off YouTube yes I do but it fluctuates we've I've had times where it was the equivalent of like an actual actual job like income wise and other times it's like <laughs> yeah like nowhere near enough but I guess my point in saying that is that like I understand that for other people and that's that makes it even more scarier and riskier but um even though that's not the case for us like it was stressing me out just because like I didn't or I don't want to say I did it I don't feel like our time is over yet you know because that was sort of the decision we were at we were kind of like like, are we just done? Because like I said, the risk is just so high um, that, you know, we don't really know like if, not if it's, I mean, it's not worth it, if that makes sense. Like the risk is not worth it, but we just weren't sure how we could carry on and like avoid the risk. And I don't know if we really 100% know that right now, but I just feel like my time is not done. Like we are nowhere near the biggest channel. <laughs> you know, at all. It's not even like I'm dependent on anything I make from YouTube. It, everything helps, I mean, it's great, but like, it's more just, I felt like it was like being forced upon us as opposed to like feeling like our time was done, do you know? So that's what I've been struggling with and that's why we've taken some time off um, because I really wanted to think about it with a clear head, like I said, and not have to worry about whatever content was already up on our channel. In saying all that, <laughs> I don't really know uh, if I'm, I mean, I guess I'm just letting you guys know what my thought pro or what our, our thought process has been leading up to this moment. But going forward, like, I can't actually tell you 100% what we're going to do. <laughs> um, I just don't know to be honest with you. I have my second channel, which I started, when did I, I don't even remember now when I started it. It was like September or October, I think. I made it like officially live. I'd had that channel for a while. That's the other thing, like I didn't start that channel because of all this. I actually had like, kind of like reserved that name and that channel for a while. I just didn't wanna like, commit to anything before I knew if I really wanted to like go at it. So I do have that second channel. And again, I kind of, I uploaded, I think I have like four or five videos in there and, and I stopped. But again, it was just because I kind of felt a little bit deflated to be honest with you, even though that channel is very different from what we do here. It just like everything that was going on just made it really hard and kind of like just my motivation was just not there to really do anything because I was just so like upset and sad. I still am about all of the things going on. Um, anyway, I do have my second channel and the intention is to still upload on there all the kinds of things that I had intended from the start to upload on there. So just in case you guys didn't know, because I don't know if I officially ever talked about my second channel on here. Like I would put it in the description box and I think I talked about it over on Instagram. I know I talk about Instagram a lot, but guys, seriously, like in times like this, especially if you don't see us on YouTube a lot, it's just, it would be great if you want to, if you care, 
is to follow us on Instagram. It's just Modern Mom for Life there because that is an easy way for me to like keep you up to date. And so you know that we're all good. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, but I do plan on still uploading on there. And then in terms of this channel, like I just, I don't want to shut it down completely, but it's also trying to figure out like how to move forward and still like comply. Now, in the last week or so, YouTube has released like a second sort of video where they were like answering common questions by creators about like you know just asking for clarification on things and they did answer some questions and like a part of me feels a little more i don't want to say at ease i don't even know what to call it i feel a little bit like i guess i almost feel like more sure in the fact that our content would pass I guess the test, I don't know. Like it just makes me feel more confident in the fact that our channel and our videos are, even though they're family friendly, are clearly like we're not speaking and like addressing children in the video and that that would like hold up. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that like there's like that risk factor. And so I feel like I have to think about that going forward but like even that bothers me i mean i don't mean to sound so like why are you making such a big deal about this but i just want to make sure that like i want to comply but i also want to stay true to like what we want to do with this channel if that makes sense and it was never meant to be like just all about me <laughs> that's what the other channels for i mean it's not even really even all about me but you know what i'm saying like even though i'm the like main adult on the channel it wasn't supposed to be like the gen show <laughs> so i'm not gonna like continue making videos on here if it's just gonna be like this or like you know i know some people have chosen just not to show their kids anymore whatever like that just doesn't make any sense because my entire day is me at home with my six children and pretty much everything i do and i'm homeschooling them revolves around them you know what i'm saying like if i'm gonna do cleaning or organizing or answering questions that's gonna be on my other channel that's never what this channel was intended for and so I guess we have to just figure out if we can move forward and kind of still put out the content we want to put out um, without like breaking the rules, I guess. So like I said, I don't really know if that <laughs> answers any questions you may have because I'm still sitting here like, I don't know. I'll say this though, I'm still vlogging. Yeah, I'm still vlogging. Oh, I'll answer a couple questions. I'm still vlogging. So I do intend, I just don't know when. I'm just being honest with you guys. I just don't know when an actual video will go up again on this channel. I probably will announce it on Instagram. So again, if you wanna follow us on there. The other question I got though was, am I uploading, even though it's after the fact, because I did vlog miss, but then it was like, um, I never uploaded Christmas Eve or Christmas. And people were like, are you uploading it? You know, we'd still love to see it. And I'm sorry because it makes me sad because those are some of my favorite videos too, because we filmed, like I film regardless, but I don't think we're gonna be putting those up. I just don't. It's like, that's the kind of content that they extra zero in on and say, because apparently only kids enjoy Christmas. So, and yes, I'm being slightly snarky about the whole thing, but do you catch my drift? Like, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is the struggle because how do you live your life with six kids and not vlog about anything that would even remotely interest another kid who could possibly click your channel or click a video? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. I just wanted to answer that. But anyway, um, when and if we're officially done, I will let you know. As of now, I don't feel like we're officially done, but I think we're kind of just gonna have to play it by ear a little bit, and I don't know how consistent we will be because partly I'm kind of feeling things out also. I don't know, maybe my confidence will get a little bit like more as time goes on and I kind of can see and the dust settles a little bit, I don't know. But I just wanted to check in and like I said, I'm sorry that I left you all hanging. I'm sorry that I wasn't like 
clear about things prior to, but honestly, I have been processing all of this <laughs> along with everybody else, and I still am. Um, so just a lot of prayer, a lot of just trying to figure out because I don't want to do the wrong thing. Um, and, you know, and I just, I want to do whatever God, like whatever I feel God is leading us to do. So anyway, thanks for watching my rant and I'll hopefully see you soon.